Ever wished you could control your lights and fan just by clapping? In this video, we will build a cool automation project using Arduino. Just take a quick look at the components you will need for this project. One Arduino Uno board, one sound sensor module that detects sound changes such as clap and sends a signal to Arduino. It helps in making our project touch free. One LED and one 220 ohm resistor. In real life, we would control a ceiling bulb, but for this project, we use an LED to represent the room's light. One DC geared motor. Instead of using an actual ceiling fan, we use a small DC geared motor to represent it. The motor spins when we give a command, just like a real fan. One relay module that acts as an electronic switch. It allows us to control high power devices such as a fan or a light using Arduino small power signals. One breadboard, some jumper wires, one USB cable, one single battery holder, and also one double battery pack to power the Arduino. Three 3.7 volt rechargeable battery. All right, let's start the connection of the circuit according to the circuit diagram. Take the Arduino board and breadboard. First of all, let's power the breadboard. Connect one jumper wire from the 5 volt pin of the Arduino to the positive rail of the breadboard and another wire from the GNT pin to the negative rail of the breadboard. Now take the sound sensor that will detect our claps and send a signal to the Arduino. It has four pins. A0 means analog output that provides an analog signal based on sound intensity. This pin is not needed in this project since we are using the D0 pin or the simple clap detection. Connect G means ground print to the negative rail on the breadboard. Connect the plus sign pin that means VCC or the power to the positive rail on the breadboard. And D0 that means digital output pin that outputs high when sound crosses a certain threshold set by a potentiometer on the module or in the coding. Connect it to digital pin 3 to the Arduino. Next let's connect the LED which represent our room's light. The LED has two legs. Connect longer leg that is anode to the digital pin 4 on the Arduino. Connect the shorter leg that is cathode to the negative rail on the breadboard through a 220 ohm resistor to prevent burning out the LED. Instead of a ceiling fan, we are using a small DC geared motor. But the Arduino can't directly power it because it needs more current. That's where the relay comes in. Now connect the VCC of the relay to the positive power rail on the breadboard. Connect its GND to the ground rail on the breadboard. Connect its IN pin to the digital pin 7 on the Arduino. The relay module will control whether the motor turns on or off. Connect the positive terminal wire of the motor to the center pin that is the COM pin on the relay. Connect the positive red wire of the single battery holder to the NO which means normally open pin on the relay. Now connect the negative terminal of the motor to the negative terminal of the battery. Again verify all the connections according to the circuit diagram. Now let's move to the coding part. You can download the code file using the link given in the description below. Open the Arduino IDE if you have not installed it yet. Download and install it first. Now let's understand how the code works. Let's start by defining the pins for our components. The LED will act as our room light and the DC motor with a relay will act as our room fan. We will also define the sound sensor pin. Here we define the sound sensor on digital pin 3, the LED on pin 4 and the relay which controls the motor on pin 7. We also create a variable clap count to count claps and last clap time to track when the last clap occurred. In the setup function, we tell the Arduino that the sound center is an input while the LED and relays are outputs. We also start the serial monitor to display real-time messages. The loop function continuously checks if a clap is detected by the sound sensor. When a clap is heard, the clap count increases and the time is recorded to avoid false triggers. Now we use if statement to control the LED and motor based on the clap count. One clap turns on the LED room light. Two claps turn the motor on room fan. Three claps turn off everything and reset the count. This way our project functions just like a real life sound control room automation system. Now let's upload our code to the Arduino. Connect your Arduino Uno to our computer using a USB cable. Select port and board in the Arduino IDE. Click the upload button. Once the upload is complete, let's test the project. Power the Arduino by using this double battery holder. Now let's test it. Clap once and LED turns on. Clap twice and motor turns on. 
clap thrice both turn off and that's how this project works we hope you found this tutorial helpful don't forget to like share and subscribe to robo army for more exciting projects